Hello, this is Andy with Automate Marketer. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to embed forms, surveys, a chat module, reviews, and a calendar on your WordPress website hosted in high level. Let's get started. In a previous video, we created a WordPress website inside of Go High Level. And you can find that video just by going right here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the admin area of the website. Normally, I would just click here and use this little arrow and it's going to open up a new window and give me the opportunity to log in. Now, I've previously already logged in, but I'm just going to log in again and click log in. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of things that I've prepared. I've already created pages to get this done, forms, search surveys, calendars, reviews. Now the chat doesn't have a page because the chat is overall throughout the whole website. And I'll show you that in just a second. But the first thing we're going to do is forms. Forms are probably something that you'll probably do the most embedding. Forms are on every website. So it is by far the most important thing that you're going to learn to embed on one of these websites. Now this is good for WordPress, but it's also good on any other technology. It could be on Weebly. It could be on Squarespace, Wix, GoDaddy basically anything with a website builder that allows you to embed code, you're going to be able to put this code into those websites. So since those pages are already created, I'm just going to go to forms right now. You're going to see that it's completely blank. There it is completely blank. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the page. Since I've already pre-made this web page, now all I need to do is hit this plus sign over here, type in code, and this module is going to pop out. I'm using just the standard builder inside of all WordPress websites if you're on WordPress 6 plus. And I'm going to click on code, and it's going to give me this area to write code into. I'm going to go into the pre-made form that I've already created inside of Go High Level. I've, as you can see, I've already prepped myself for the video, and I have this lawyer contact form that I created earlier. I just click on the form right over here, and in the top right hand corner, we have this link here for integrate. I click on integrate and I can choose many different ways to use this form throughout my website, but I'm just going to do a standard embed. So I copy this embed code right over here just by clicking the button. I go to my page where I'm going to edit and add the code. I paste the code, but that's not going to work correctly. What it's going to do is just going to show the code on the actual page. And we definitely don't want that. What we want is this to show the form. So in order to do that, I'm just going to take that away and I'm going to click on this little code module right over here. When I click on it, I'm given all these choices and I need to go to custom HTML. And that's kind of, as you see, show me the code that I thought I pasted in correctly, but now I'm just going to delete all that by choosing control or command A, just click delete. And I'm going to paste the actual HTML code in here. Now this is very, very important. You have to make sure that it's set like this HTML and that you can paste the code and then you click update or publish or whatever you see to get the page up there. And if we look at the page by clicking on this view page link right here, you'll see that our form is now embedded inside of the page. And then we just have to tell the form where we need it to go after a person has filled it out. So you go back to the editor. If you still have this up, you hit done. You go over to style and options. You go to options and you can choose which URL would have your thank you page. Or you can write a message saying thank you for taking the time to complete this form. And then just click save. And that's ready to go. Now the cool thing is surveys are extremely similar to this. All we need to do is go to the surveys area, go to to our survey. Now I've pre-created this survey. We have other videos on how to create surveys and how to use them in high level that you can always go to. I go to integrate again and there's my embed code. I copy it. Now this time I need to go to the surveys page that I've pre-created. I go to surveys. And since I've already created this, all I need to do is click edit page. I click on the plus sign, but this time instead of using code, I'm going to use custom HTML. I click on custom HTML. All I do is paste it right there. I'm going to click update. Again, it could have been published. And then I view the page. And as you can see, my survey is embedded right over here and I can just fill it out normally. Now the next one is calendars. Many clients want to embed their calendar inside of their website. The way we do that is again, we edit the page. We click on custom HTML. You go to the calendar that you've either pre-created or you create a new one. You click on these three dots here. You copy the embed code and then you paste that embed code right on the page. You click update. And as you can see, when we view the page, the calendar is right there, ready to go. And finally, we have reviews. Now reviews can be accessed by going to reputation on the left hand side of high level. You go to this little cog right over here in the top right hand corner. And if you scroll all the way down, you'll see the ability to embed reviews wherever you like. You can set the title for that section, different colors, different background. And then there's the code right here. All you got to do is copy the code, go to your reviews page, either creating it or updating it, edit the page, 
Again, you hit the plus sign, click custom HTML, you paste it right in there, you click update, and if we view the page, those reviews are now embedded. Now these reviews can be put all over the website and you absolutely should. Social proof is one of the best ways to market. Now finally we come to the last one and the last one's a little special. It's for our chat module. Did you know or have you used the chat module inside of Go High Level yet? It's awesome and it can be put anywhere on any funnel page or on any WordPress page or frankly any page and you should absolutely use it it's always great when a customer can easily get a hold of a business. So you go back into Go High Level from the Sites menu. On the top right, you're gonna see Chat Widget. Now again, you can configure this. You can change the picture of the person. You might wanna use somebody in that person's office so there is some kind of familiarity. Or you can use a logo. You can change all this information. Here's the information about the widget window. You can change the color and so forth and all that information. And then you can have the acknowledgement settings. And when you're done configuring everything, all you gotta do is go to the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, the code's popped up right here. This little button here to copy the code. I go to my WordPress website and depending on the theme that you're using, you're gonna find a way to embed this from the Divi theme. All you need to do is click on Divi, theme options, integration, scroll to the body area, paste the code right in here, scroll down to the bottom, click save, and then click on the home button right here. And as you can see, the chat is now available inside of the website. And all the person needs to do to use it is just click on it and fill it out. And that's how you embed just about anything that you want from Go High Level inside of a WordPress website. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and come back for more tutorials on how to use WordPress with Go High Level.